Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna. Oh, forgot the title. Okay, that's better. Alright, so I am going to teach you for my instructional video how to add color effects to make your video look more serious, more happy, more professional, whatever. Alright, and so let's open Premiere Pro. Click. And uh, this is part of our upcoming movie here. It's called L0V3. You'll see it in a bit, hopefully. Alright, so as you can see, all this funny stuff on the right, left, I'm, I'm blind, I'm sorry. Uh, you can see where it says color balance, levels, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to teach you how to do all that. So let me just go and grab an example. Uh, you can see how it's kind of, it's shot with a really good camera, uh, Alana's digital SLR. Uh, so it's, it's a good quality picture here, 720 HD, but it's a little bit, mm, I'd hesitate to call it bland, and a little bit pale. So you know how in professional movies look a little bit more grainy, or a little bit more uh, dark and serious, well for at least serious movies? Uh, we're going to try and grab that effect. So here's how you do it. This is... CS4, by the way, Elements or earlier versions of Adobe Premiere Pro will look different. So what you're going to want to do is go into Effects, see the little Effect tab here. Uh, go into Video Effects. We are going to be working with Adjust Levels. So we are going to throw that on there. We're also going to be working with color correction, brightness and contrast, color balance, HLS, make sure it's the HLS one, not the standard color balance. Oh, and standard color balance. Okay, we're all good. So, how you open up the effects control box is you click on the clip you want to edit, in this case this one, right here, I'm circling it, uh, go up to window effects, make sure that's checked. And then you will you should have this box here. And here are all the effects here. Motion, opacity, and time remapping are standard ones that are always on. You can't turn them off. Uh, we're not going to work with those. We're just going to work with the other four. So let's start with levels. Levels here, you have a lot. Pretty much uh, RGB stands for red, green, blue. And that's a standard color system of how a monitor displays colors. It's only three colors and all of them mixed to make all the colors you see here. Um, black input levels make it darker, which will make it more serious. So you're gonna wanna up that a little bit. Probably do about, I'd say about 15, sure, let's do that. Uh, you can dr also drop the white to make the white stand out a little bit more. I'm gonna put it down to about 230. Uh, those were the input levels. Output levels do pretty much the same except in reverse. Uh, like lowering a white output level will make it darker and raising the black output level will make it lighter. Uh, then you have the sing uh, single controls for each one such as you have it for just red, just green, just blue and we were just working with uh, red, green and blue at the same time. Oh, there's also gamma here. And what Gamma will do will kind of up your darks if you lower it. So we're going to just go lower it a little bit. There we go. Alright, now moving on to brightness and contrast. Uh, brightness, I wouldn't really mess with unless your shot is really dark. Like, something like that. Uh, I had to turn up the brightness. Because if you mess with it here when it's perfectly uh, light, you're going to get this. See how it looks all washed out? You don't really want that. Make sure it's not minus though either because it's going to get like that. So leave it at zero. It should be fine because you're going to darken it by using the contrast levels and stuff like that. Uh, standard contrast, you're going to want to up that up because it'll make your colors sharper. There you go. I, I raise it to about 10. 10 seems a good number. Color balance HLS. This is where you get hue, lightness, and saturation. Uh, don't mess with hue because that just messes up your colors. See, now he's like the Hulk, because you made him angry. 
Why'd you make me Sean angry? He's not nice when he's angry. Um, lightness. Again, just washes it out. I wouldn't mess with that. Uh, saturation is what we want. Um, there's two different effects you can get with this kind of saturation. Uh, for more serious films, you can lower it, and that will kind of make your colors fade out a little bit, make everything a bit more grayscale. Uh, what this does, it is makes it more serious, because black and white portrays seriousness, or uh, I guess old-timey kind of film. It'll just make things more concentrated and focused. Uh, a con on the contrast, if you want things to be like happy and bubbly, you up the saturation. That's too far. You get a lot of pixels like that. Uh, about 10, and you make the colors pop out, which makes it vibrant, makes it happy. Uh, bubbly, good old fun times. But that's not what our film is aiming for here. Ours is more serious, so we're going to lower it by about 14. You don't want to lower it too much, or else it's going to be just gray. That's not cool. You want some color, so I'm going to lower it back to 15. Sounds good. Done. And last but not least, color balance. Uh, this is where you can kind of mess with the tint of your video. Tint is actually a lot more influential than you might think. Uh, green balance. Green is a gross color. Uh, they used to use it for horror movies, but... Late, just recently, actually, it's been proven to actually reduce the scariness. See, look, you made him angry again. He's turning green. Why do you keep making him angry? Don't do that. Red balance. Red balance is to give your film a more a warmer look, just kind of like boosting the colors. It'll look like this. It makes it all happy and fun. Happy fun time. But that's for more comedic scenes or like romantic comedies. This is not a romantic comedy, although it does have romance and does have comedy. It's That's not what we're going for. So we're going to leave that. And actually what we want is the blue balance. We're going to up that a little bit. No, oh, that's too far. I'd say about 20 is good. Just get a little bit more blue in there because blue makes your film seem colder and darker as contrast or red which is warmer and it, again it makes it serious you want to aim for the seriousness uh and you can also reduce the red if you wanted to really kill that happy warmness because you're a sinister guy like that uh negative eight uh now we're messing with mid-tone same thing it's just they uh mid-tone shadow and highlight target different parts of the film that you want to boost i'm not raising it too much and last but not least highlights reducing red highlights and upping the blue highlights. Okay, there we go. And uh, you can click Preserve Luminosity if you want. Uh, this is an unclicked, and this is a clicked. If you click to Preserve Luminosity, it'll make your film look really bold. But that's not exactly what we're aiming for right yet, so I'm not going to click that. Okay, and we are done with that. That's kind of what it looks like. Here, I will show you the contrast, what it will look like without it. This is it with, without, with, without, with, without. Big difference, don't you think? I don't know what he's doing, do not ask. Uh, I'm just going to select all these, and bam. Okay, you're probably wondering how I did that. Um, I will tell you how I did that, because... Yes, I do. I want to delete that. Oh, no! No, I don't. Wrong ones to delete. Okay. Because, again, if you have to go into video effects and keep dragging, clicking, dragging, clicking, and you keep going, edit controls, blah, 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 click here, and I have to do it all over again for every single clip just to keep it uniform, that would really, really suck, wouldn't it? Well, it's just technology. Everything's faster. You just have to find a way to make it faster. How you do that is, once you have it set at a good level that you'd like, so let's say we like all the stuff we did here, so we want to right-click on that effect that you use, so right-click Levels, Save Preset, and Level Preset um, Dark, er, er because we leveled it to, uh, we, lo we lowered our whites to make it a bit more black to, for it to stand out. So 
we are going to go ahead and save that and look where it appeared. It appeared right here in our little presets folder. Uh, it makes it just so much easier because all you have to do now is just click and you can control click to highlight multiple ones that you have because we also did it for brightness, color, balance, HLS, and color balance. Just click, drag, and drop right onto the film and I just duplicated it and that's why it looks really, really dark. Anyway, that is how you do it and I hope that helps. Thanks for watching my video and I will see you later. Good luck.